Now let's talk about a, a very important concept when, when, when dealing with um, optical instruments, which uh, the purpose of them is to make images that, uh, to look at objects and see a bigger version of the object, let's put it that a simple way. So <coughs> think about uh, the size of the moon and the sun. Just by chance, it turns out that when you look at the sky and you compare the size of the sun and the moon, they are about the same. But of course you do know that the moon is a lot smaller than the sun. So the reason why they look the same size on the sky is because even though the sun is a lot bigger, even though the sun is a lot bigger, it is also a lot, a lot further away. So that's the reason why you can have complete uh, eclipse. The moon can, when it moves in between the earth and the sun, it can completely cover the uh, light rays from the sun. That's just a coincidence that the size of the sun and the moon match like that. But the point is that this quantity, the quantity that tells you how far an object looks to you, right? that is what we call the angular size of an object. And for the moon and the sun, those, the angular size seems to coincide. So you can measure that angular size of any object. I'm not suggesting you use this something as big as this, but you could use something like this. If you're a distance, a certain distance away from an object, say the door over there, then you can put this close to your eye and move this until the size of the door matches the size of this. So at this distance from the door, the angular size of that door is about 10 degrees, right? Now as I move closer to the door, I'm going to have to adjust this distance, the uh, angular, the size of this, the angle, to match that, which means that the angular size of that door, as I'm getting close to it, is growing. At this distance, the angular size of the door is now a little more than 30 degrees. And if I get really close to the door, then I'm having to open and open this even more and even more. Right? Now why is the angular size uh, that important? Well, it, the angular size of an object tells you how much detail of the object you can see. <laughs> because the angular size will determine what's the size of the image of that object on your retina. If you have a tiny ret a, a image of the object in your retina, then the details that you can see are uh, limited. So the bigger the size of the image on the retina, the better. And the size of the uh, image on the retina has to do with the angular size of the object. Right? If this is the object, for example, and you place it at 25 centimeters from it, it has a, a high H, then the angular size of the object would be uh, what we call the uh, theta NP, which is the near point when you have placed the object as close as you can to, uh, to you. And that angle here is going to determine how big is the image of the object on the retina. And that's as big as that, as that image is going to get. If you move the object further back, this distance is growing, which means the H is not changing. So this angle, NP, but that angle, the angular size of the object would get smaller and a smaller size here, a smaller angle here, means a smaller image here. So as you move the object further away, the object looks smaller, of course, you already know that. So by, uh, if you want to look at an object uh, as big as it can be, what you want to do is bring the object as close to you as possible. Right? But since you cannot focus an object closer than 25 centimeters, that is the limit. That's how big an object is ever going to look to you when the object is a distance from you of 25 centimeters. That's as big as it gets. But then you can use a magnifying glass. And I'm going to not walk you through the details of this. If you use a magnifying glass, the angular size of the object will be different. Suppose that this is the focal length of the magnifying glass with, that you're using, converging lens. And you're looking at this situation over here. So you have an object here. And we know that there's going to be an image of that obje object produced by that lens. We do know that for a single lens, the object and the image are always along this line. The line 
the light rays that go, the line defined by the light rays that go through the center of the lens. So the angular size of that object to the observer over here, the angular size of that object is that angle theta, which is the same as this angle theta. This is the distance to the object, that's the distance to the image. As you uh, suppose that you place the object close to the focal point, or at the focal point. So then the image of the object is going to be formed at infinity, right? But the angular size of that image and the angular size of the object are the same because you can always find them along this line, correct? The bottom of the arrow is going to be always along this line. The tip of the arrow, either the object or the image, are going to be along this line. So no matter where that object is, where the image is, the angular size is the same. But Notice that that angular size uh, actually changes because the distance between the object and the lens can change. So if you bring the object closer now, closer to the lens, then this distance is getting shorter. The size of the object is not changing. So if you bring it, for example, here, same size, what happens to that angle, the angular size of the object? It grows. It's bigger. So you would say uh, it's in your best interest to, uh, when using magnifying glass, to put the glass as close as you can to the object. That's what you might think, right? The problem is that once you get an object that is really close to the image, to the, uh, to the lens, the image of that object also moves close to the lens. And what happens if this distance is smaller than 25 centimeters? Let's assume that the eye is right next to the right next to the uh, to the lens. Let's put the eye right here. If the image distance from the eye is less than 25, you're not able to focus that, right? So you put your magnifying glass really close to your eye, and you start looking at your object, and you uh, start bringing it closer and closer. There will the object will be will appear bigger and bigger because this angle is getting bigger, right? As I said. This is h, and this is the distance that you have, distance of the object. As you bring the object closer and closer, this distance is getting smaller and smaller, which means that the angular size of the object is growing. So you put your magnifying glass and you start moving the object and it gets bigger and bigger until what happens? Until the image is now 25 centimeters from your eye, and then it gets blurry, and it doesn't help you to bring it closer, right? So the limit, of how big it can get is when the image of the object is formed 25 centimeters from your eye. Okay? If you do that, if you put those numbers saying that the distance to the image for maximum magnification Then you come up with an equation that tells you that the object will look this many times bigger than without the lens. It would be 25 centimeters divided by the focal length that you're using plus 1. I can, uh, in the notes, I'll, I can walk you through that, but right now I'm just going to show you this and give you the idea of what, where it's coming from. This uh, magnification, how many times the object looks bigger than it would if you didn't have a magnifying glass, it's a comparison. Between, between, two, uh, between two angles, right? Should I retain the other board? Sorry about that. If you take the object and you just use your eye to look at it, this will be 25 centimeters, and the angular size of the object is what we call theta and p. Right? Theta and p is the height of the object divided by 25 centimeters. This is just the eye looking at an object.
how big does it look? That's the angular size of the object. Now when we do, when we use a magnifying glass, the way I just show you, and we place the object at a distance such that the image is formed 25 centimeters from the eye, which is over here, <coughs> then the angle that you get is different. It's not mega NP, it's actually bigger than NP and you define the magnification as the ratio between the two. If this angle is two times as big as that angle, you say that compared to the, uh, doing it with the naked eye, the magnifying glass is helping you see things twice as big. So this is the comparison that you want to do. And when you plug in the numbers for what uh, this angle is going to be, you have to solve for the distance to the object that will give you an image at 25, given that this thing has a focal length of f, you will get the expression that I wrote before, which is 25 centimeters over f plus 1. You've seen this expression in your lab, I believe. Now this expression for the magnification is not actually the one that we want to use uh, often. Because at that distance, if you place, if you were to use the magnifying glass that way, putting it really close to your eye and having the image form at 25 centimeters, because the image is so close to you, your eye will have to be completely uh, accommodated, right? The crystalline lens will be, have to be squeezed as, as, as hard as, as you can. So for a person that is working in a lab with uh, microscopes or uh, these kind of optical instruments, that is not a desirable situation to be looking at things at this distance the whole day, eight hours a day looking at something this distance, right? So this is not the preferred setup that you want in which, uh, that you want to have to look at, uh, to magnify objects. What you want to do, the best way to, to use a magnifying glass is to do this. If this is the focal point, you place the object really close to the focal point. In the setup that I told you before, the uh, object is not at the focal point. You can see where uh, to place it in the notes. But if you put the object close to the focal point, then the image of the object is going to be really far away, right? If it's at the focal point, you know that the image is going to be at infinity, and the light rays do something like this let me draw this a little better The light rays, when the object is close to the focal point, they do something like this. For the observer looking at this uh, object placed here, they seem to be coming from a point really far away in that direction. If it was right at the focal point, you would say that the image of the object is formed at infinity. Okay? So those light rays are coming in parallel. There's more, of course, that's not the only two. And they all turn parallel. So when the eye looks at this situation, those light rays seem to be coming from infinity, they are parallel, and your eye doesn't have to accommodate to focus parallel light rays on the retina. Okay? So the eye will get an image of an object <coughs> without accommodation, and the angular size of that object will be given by this. Remember that this is always true that the image of the object is going to be along this line. Right? So, um, the angular size of that object, theta, will be equal to the height of the object divided by the focal length. That's how big the object is going to look if you're using a magnifying glass this way. So you don't put the magnifying really close to you, you just put it at a certain distance and make sure that the magnifying glass is close, the distance between the magnifying glass and the object is close to the focal length of the glass. That way it doesn't really matter if you get really close or far away from the glass, from the magnifying glass, you can see a clear image and it doesn't strain your eyes to see that image for a long time. Alright, so if you compare then the 
the size of the object with what uh, size you would have if you didn't use the magnifying glass which is you take the same object height h and you put it at 25 centimeters what is that angle? that angle is called theta np if you compare those two you get theta over f and this is h over 25 So the more usual magnification number that is used for uh, lenses that are used as magnifying glasses is to take the 25 centimeters, the near point distance for normal eye, divided by the focal length. <coughs> the smaller the focal length of the lens, the bigger the magnification. 